thanks so much for watching. This video is going to be a current favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time, so if you guys would like to see what all of my favorites are, then just keep watching. So next is what I'm going to start with because I have a lot of their products to talk about. The first is the matte finish spray, and I'm pretty sure I bought this for like $7. I do really like this, and it does work well. However, the spray nozzle isn't that great of quality and I don't recommend applying this on like a finished face of makeup because of that. It is like a little bit spotty in some areas so I apply this after a primer and it does a good job for me. Next by NYX is a lipstick I'm wearing right now. This is 615A and it's a really beautiful like nudie pink color. It looks like this. It goes on really smooth and it's pretty hydrating too so I love this. So next by NYX is the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder, and I wear this in 05 Soft Beige. I've already hit pan on this. It's really like thin and powdery. It's not like a thick and cakey powder, which I hate, but it goes on really smooth and powdery, and it just like sets all of my foundation really nicely. And also, this is the NYX Shine Killer Primer. I love this primer. This is the best primer I've ever tried. I think this is like $10 or $11 if I remember correctly, but it's really smooth and it goes on just so smoothly. This is amazing. The last product by NYX is this Eye Coal in Black, and one of the great things about this Eye Coal is it's kind of like a hexagon shape. It's not like a smooth circle, so I can find it if I'm just like shuffling through all of my pencils. I can find this one really easily, and it goes on so smoothly. It doesn't move around too much either throughout the day, so that's really so nice. So next is MAC. This is the Studio Fix. Fluid SPF 15 Broad Spectrum Foundation. I wear this in NW25. The only bad thing about this, do not, I repeat, do not apply this with a damp beauty blender because from my experience, it looks so bad. Like it looks wet, it doesn't go on evenly, and it is just a mess. So please, a stippling brush is the only way to go for this product, at least from my experience. I just kind of like rub it in with a stippling brush. I don't really like stipple it that much at all. And that works the best for me, but a beauty blender will not work. That's my favorite way to apply foundation. And when I wear this product, I can't use that. So. Next by MAC is the Fix Plus. I haven't tried this just because I assumed it was like super expensive. I've been wearing the Scandinavia spray, which is expensive. That's like $32. It, will last you a while but obviously that's still pretty expensive but this is only $20 which I was really surprised about I just assumed it was going to be like $45 I don't know why but I did but I absolutely love this it works really well it's definitely worth the $20 next I have two perfumes they are these ones this is the Betsy Johnson I don't even think it has a name but it's by Betsy Johnson and I really love this it's very like fruity and feminine and like floral. This is really nice. I wear this all the time. And then this is the Vera Wang Glam Princess perfume. And this one's really pretty on the top. You can see all of these things up here. And then this comes off if you want to wear it as like a ring or something. I don't know, but I just love this. It's so like formal and like a little bit floral, but really glamorous like the name is. So I love, love, love both of these perfumes. Next is the Jerry Redding Argan Oil Hydrating Mask. This is an awesome mask for your hair. I wear this probably like twice a week. I put this on in the shower for 5-10 minutes or so and it leaves my hair so soft and so smooth. It's just white and it looks like this on the inside, just like white and thin, but it smells so good and it works really, really well. I got this from a Marshalls for $7.99. It was originally... $23.99 and I love it. And next I just wanted to talk about a mascara combination that I am loving right now. First is the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara by L'Oreal and I really like this one because of the wand. It is a rubber wand so it really like grabs onto your lashes really really well and it's just awesome. But I finish it with the Lash Stilettos 
voluptuous Maybelline mascara and this one is just like a regular one but it really like I don't know it just finishes well it makes it like thicker it makes them a little longer and this combination I've just been loving lately I'm wearing it right now and I wear this combination like pretty much every day so I thought I would mention that to you guys Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments if you try any of these products, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!